Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a project pan update. This one is going to be just a little bit different just because I don't have my full setup. I didn't bring a sharpie so I can't like mark my progress on some of these items. But hopefully from the close-ups and from the progress clips you'll be able to see something. Anyway, if you're new here, hi my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related and I'd love it if you liked and subscribed if you aren't already. With that being said, let's just hop into it. As always with my project pan updates, I tend to go from least amount of progress to most amount of progress at least visible progress so i have my nabla skin bronzing bronzer in the shade soft revenge i wouldn't say that i use this every day but i will say probably about half of the time that i wear makeup i still really like it i still think the product is great i just haven't been wearing a ton of makeup i'm outside all day lots of like moving around and stuff and it just hasn't been worth it also my skin has been not the most happy with me since i've been in australia so just in general i'm trying to minimize the amount of makeup that i'm wearing so i haven't been wearing a ton of bronzer but you know i'm working my way through it i have some progress on it i'm trying to use it up as much as i can but just again not a lot of visible progress especially because it is a powder it it's just gonna take me a while and i've said that before the next item i have here is my rare beauty setting powder in the shade light medium i was trying to tap this down but honestly the line looked exactly the same as last month I have not been using this as much as I probably should have or could have. Again, just with the way my skin has been, it's been very dry, it's been very irritated, and I just haven't been going in with a lot of powder. I do still like this, I still want to try and use it up, but I've just been using a lot less of this this month compared to last month specifically. So I'm going to continue make, working my way through it just for right now. Not as much progress as I hoped there would be. The next item here is my Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Again, this isn't one of my favorite primers. I have been a little bit more conservative with my use on this because usually I'll wear like more of a glowy SPF and then use this to mattify specific areas of my face that I feel like need to be mattified a little bit more. I forgot to bring a sunscreen with me to Australia. So I picked one up while I was here and the one that I picked up is actually a matte SPF and so I feel like I don't need this as much. I've still been using it every every once in a while. I do like it. I'm still I'm still working my way through it. I think I've used it maybe like seven times in the last month but you can see the air has been squeezed out and i i do feel like i'm making progress on it just maybe not as much progress as i would have if i had remembered to bring my sunscreens from home the next item i want to talk about is my merit the minimalistic in the shade sand this has an insane amount of progress product in it. Like I said, I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup. Usually I'll just take a little bit of this underneath my eyes and maybe on specific acne, but I haven't been putting this all over my face. I haven't been using this as a foundation. I've been using this more as a concealer. And because of that, I do feel like it probably could stand to be used a little bit more. I feel like the progress on this hasn't been as noticeable as before. Not that it's been super noticeable before anyway, because when you apply this directly to your face, it applies in such a thin layer that I feel like you just can't see that progress. So hopefully in the close-ups, you'll be able to see a little bit better. But for this one specifically, I'm still gonna try and make my way through it. This environment, has just been really hard on my skin and like I said I've been wanting to try and minimize the amount of makeup that I'm wearing. I have noticed I've been especially breaking out on my forehead and on my chin area. Not a ton of progress but that is we're getting there. The next item I have here is my NYX suede matte lip liner. I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup this past month especially lip products my lips have been so chapped that the only thing i've really been applying is my summer friday's lip butter balm 
or Aquaphor just to give my lips some hydration. So I haven't really been wearing lip products besides that. I have used this maybe one or two times paired with the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Peeling and Angdu. So I have used that a couple times, but I just haven't been using this. So another thing that I have been working on is my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. I don't have the counter right off the top of my head, but I think I've used it around 50 times, which isn't like a ton of progress, but I have been like scraping the sides on that. When you apply it to the cheeks, there's barely any product. You can apply it directly on the cheeks and it blends out really easily. So I'm getting close to calling that done. I told you guys before I left for Australia that I would pretty much give myself till the time I got back. So my November update to finish it up. And if it's not finished up completely, by that November update, I'm gonna call it done. I feel like we're almost there. Technically not an empty yet, but pr pretty dang close to an empty for sure. Next up, I have my Lila B Be Dazzling Divine Duo Lip and Cheek. Um, this is the highlighter that I currently have in my project pan. You can see the pan has extended quite a bit in the last month or so. I have been using this on the Real Techniques setting brush and I've really been liking applying this highlighter with that brush. Um, I feel like it gives me really good control but also gives me just like a really natural glow. This does have glitters in it so in direct light you can you can see those micro glitters but I still think it's beautiful. I am excited to continue working my way through this. I feel like the pan has gotten pretty big so far and you know I just need to keep working on it more. I feel like once you hit pan the amount of visible progress you see can greatly increase like very quickly. So I just I just need to keep working on this right now though. I'm really liking it, I'm really excited. And the last item is my Kosas Brow Pop. This is in the dark brown shade. And I am so, so close to being done with this. I foresee myself finishing this in the next month, the next two months, definitely before December though. I just feel like I have so little product left and I might have to pick up a new brow pencil when I'm here because I don't have a backup. So we'll see. I am very close with very close to being done with this though. I don't foresee this taking a very long time at all. Definitely within the next two months, maybe even the next month if i if i try very hard you guys know how i feel about this by this point it's it's a brow pencil nothing super revolutionary but nothing like bad about it either it's just a brow pencil and you know i just i just need to be done with it that is everything for this update not the most exciting but i do feel like next month will be a lot more exciting i am having a blast for sure i hope you guys enjoyed this video Hopefully next month we will see some empties, some new products being rolled in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.